OpenAI is a juggernaut, a technology with shocking intelligence built on predictive text. But no one could have predicted what happened at the tech giant the past few days or can't predict what it means for the future. OpenAI, the pioneering startup behind ChatGPT and Dolly, it can generate text and pictures, decision making, and it has another new CEO. The third in as many days keeps changing. The company board removed the founder, Sam Altman, on Friday out of the blue. The board then defied employee calls for Altman to return with its latest CEO pick. Wired reports a growing number of employees are now pushing for accountability. More than 700 of the company's roughly 770 employees have signed a letter threatening to quit if the board does not resign or if Altman doesn't come back. They don't trust their, their judgment and how they handled this situation. They don't understand why uh, Sam Altman, Altman was pushed out just because of you know, what they said was a lack of communications uh, with the board, and so they didn't have trust uh, in him to run the company anymore. OpenAI's loss looks to be Microsoft's gain. They're hiring Altman and his co-founder, Greg Brockman, and many others. Perhaps Microsoft is already the largest shareholder in OpenAI. It owns 49% share, but it did not know this was happening. One OpenAI board member has already said he regrets the decision to remove Altman. A lot of moving parts here and names you probably did not know before, but they're consequential. National correspondent Vanessa Mashanya has been covering the ups and downs inside and outside OpenAI. Vanessa, what a mess. What's next? Yeah, we are nowhere near the season finale of this drama, Chance. This is uh, just really blown up. A, a shakeup truly felt throughout Silicon Valley, the country, the world. You know, Sam Altman fired by OpenAI, hired by Microsoft, and then hundreds of employees at the company that he founded now threatening to jump ship. Three days after being dumped by OpenAI's board of directors, Sam Altman is now heading Microsoft's new artificial intelligence research team. Greg Brockman, a fellow OpenAI co-founder, quitting the company in solidarity and following Altman and to Microsoft. Emmett Shear, former CEO of Twitch, is now the interim CEO for OpenAI. So they're sort of effectively becoming competitors uh, with this move. Why Altman was let go by the board, however, is still a bit of a mystery. It is being reported that the move had something to do with Altman's aggressive push to develop the technology, clashing with the board's more cautious approach. Open AI employees are speaking out. More than 700 of them signed a letter demanding that the board resign, saying, we are unable to work for or with people that lack competence, judgment, and care for our mission and employees. If the board stays, they're threatening to go where else but to Microsoft, where they say there are plenty of positions available. It's unclear. Will they decide to double down on their decision? Will they decide to resign? Will they decide to bring in some new board members? It's it's really unclear. You know, we are putting, you know, so much of our faith and confidence in a few individuals uh, across the tech industry. Along with his role as a dean at Tufts University, Bhaskar Chakravorty heads of research program Digital Planet, which looks at how tech impacts the globe. He says the events of last weekend are covered in red flags, and the fact that the industry, which has real impacts in the world, is rocked by quarrels of behavior is concerning. Another point of worry, the leaders of artificial intelligence disagreeing over the development of this kind of tech. Uh, if the experts themselves aren't sure that this technology is safe, then who do we turn to? Because the regulators, you know, can't figure this out. And we can't trust our governments to, you know, figure this out because they're on the outside. So this is a largely worrisome situation for many reasons. Other points that Dean Chakravorty brought up to me, you know, the acquisition by Microsoft of Altman, Brockman, the capital they have, the, the knowledge of this uh, technology that they have, uh, you know, gives Microsoft such a big advantage and it's already a giant in the field. And he hopes that, you know, with all of this drama going on, Chakravorty hopes that, the, the, that we do not overlook any risks made right now in this tech sphere that we might regret, you know, months to years later on. Vanessa Mashanya, thank you. All right, that got us up to speed here. Now let's go deeper, expand the conversation to the future. AI already poses huge opportunities and maybe risks, everything from tech to labor to politics and more that we don't even know about. So joining us tonight for more insight is Maria Curie, tech policy reporter with Axios and their subscription service, Axios Pro. Maria, is there still a chance 
of Sam Altman coming back to OpenAI, or is this a never ever getting back together situation? What is it? It's definitely still very much up in the air. We just saw Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, on Bloomberg News basically saying whether Sam Altman is a part of OpenAI or Microsoft's new research team, we are just happy to be working with the people behind OpenAI. And at this point, the ball is pretty much in the board of directors court. Um, we saw earlier today this letter signed by the majority of OpenAI employees saying they would essentially quit and potentially join Microsoft, which has offered them jobs if the board does not resign and reinstate. Sam Altman. And so it's kind of a wait and see game at this point as far as what the board might do. And then, of course, you know, no one really knows what Sam Altman wants to do personally, but the option could potentially still be on the table to rejoin OpenAI. I see. And he's a little bit mercurial in that sense. He's not showing all of his cards. I guess I still don't understand, Maria, the core issue. I mean, in the past, I've listened to all of the podcasts that Altman's on. You know, he seems like a reasonable guy. Uh, Microsoft's leader, he's on Bloomberg. He's talking on Kara Swisher's podcast. You know, there's this discussion of, you know, Altman was clashing with this woman, Helen Toner, who's on the board. Never heard of her, but apparently she's powerful at that company. And there's all this talk of misalignment. When it comes to mission, when it comes to product, what does that mean? Is it that they have a board that's a nonprofit board, but this has just gotten to be something much bigger? What's the core issue? It's interesting because people at the company generally um, have a sense of urgency when it comes to regulating AI for its existential threats. That being said, it's been reported that Altman was maybe moving at a pace that was quicker that than the board wanted to move in. And I think this is a really key thing to watch out for, for members of Congress, especially because um, when there are schisms within a company as far as how fast you want to move forward, you want to have that those laws in place to have some rules of the road and make sure that this very powerful technology isn't advancing at a, at a speed that is unsafe. Mm -hmm. I see. I, it's a little confusing to the outside because you're like, wait, he's in trouble for developing the technology they're developing, but okay. Right. Um, does this yeah. affect the fundamental AI products that all of us are going to encounter and you I mean I've used chat GPT maybe 10 times it's fine but they say it's going to be a big part of our lives yeah as far as it uh affecting the technology itself we still don't know yet I mean we know that Microsoft um you know the company says that they have safety measures in place but they're also interested in moving forward um and we see that alignment with Microsoft and Sam Altman and so as far as how it'll impact the products themselves, uh, we aren't sure yet. It's a matter of, you know, what the board decides to come out and say publicly. So far, they haven't exactly said, other than a breakdown in communication, they haven't said why Sam Altman was ousted in the first place. Um, uh -huh. So it's, it's really a question for all of us, even as we ping sources here in Washington. I don't want to ruin any of your sources on the board, but I mean, is it just that they have a prim and proper board that just doesn't, I mean, they're more yeah. attuned to nonprofit work. It's a different world than tech giants. You know, the same board of Google is not doing the, you know, the Habitat for Humanity board. It's true. And even labeling OpenAI as a big tech giant isn't necessarily the best way to describe them. They still are, I mean, they're definitely one of the biggest players, if not the biggest player in AI because of their ChatGPT product being so widely popular. But you can see even as the board has these internal fights um, and mismanagement and some might even say incompetence that they still are one of these newer companies. Um, so it's, it just remains to be seen at this point mm -hmm. exactly how this is going to impact them moving forward. And I think, if anything, this uh, stresses the urgency of, of regulation. Mm -hmm. So you said Microsoft wants to go forward. I mean, we know other companies mm -hmm. want to go forward. China is going to catapult ahead. So even if like this one nonprofit pulls back, everybody else isn't. It seems Altman goes to Microsoft, let's say and potentially brings 700 people across the street to you know, work at Microsoft instead of OpenAI. How does that affect the partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI? Do things you know, explode? What happens? Well, I think it raises a big antitrust question because essentially, right, Microsoft is OpenAI's biggest investor at $13 billion. This is essentially Microsoft getting OpenAI's leader and it's 
the vast majority of its staff if they choose to go over there for free. And acquiring those resources, that knowledge, uh, basically consolidating in effect into Microsoft is going to raise antitrust concerns, which is another big re regulatory question when it comes to big tech. Um, I wouldn't describe them as becoming competition under Emmett Shear's uh, leadership if he does become the permanent uh, leader of OpenAI. I would describe it as OpenAI kind of being left without its top talent. Okay, there's talent, there's, I mean, AGI they're trying to get to and all this. Bottom line, Maria, what has this taught us so far? Uh, I think it's taught us that we need people in Washington setting rules for uh, the folks over in Silicon Valley who do wield a lot of power over technology, whether it's Microsoft or whether it's OpenAI. Um, these are really powerful technologies beyond ChatGPT that uh, are going to have wide ranging impacts on all of us. And uh, I think the chaos and the leadership board kind of necessitate some rules which Altman's been one of the loudest voices saying, regulate us, please. Maria Curie, covering tech policy for Axios. Thanks for taking a little break to talk with us tonight. Smart Brevity.